the Joe Rogan experience. You know? You know those Storage Wars shows? I guess yeah, some yeah, of them, yeah. they fake. Yeah, they do. They set them up. They load up the the storage, yeah. and they go, so I they can't believe we <coughs> found a World War II helmet. It's Elvis's underwear. Whoa. This is unbelievable. Yeah, they used to be real. Actually, a few of them were very real. And they then were they, very Then real. they got caught online. A bunch of people online were calling them out, being like, this is bullshit. This is fake. I saw them setting it up. Like, they got they got caught. But if that's, they're going to do that, they should find magic in there and yeah. shit. <laughs> they should find, you know, you should have like shit. storage wars where they, they go in there and they find a leprechaun. Yeah. Whoa. And the leprechaun makes one a of eunuch. them disappear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One person disappears and they have a genie and a lamp. And just that go, would be worth treat it. Treat me like I'm really stupid. Have you ever okay? watched the show Ghost Hunters? Do you know, or Ghost oh Adventures? Oh yes. Do you know this guy? Which Dude. guy? Zach Baggins? Zach Baggins. Do yeah. you know this guy? I do not know him personally. Oh, man. He makes me laugh so fucking hard because they've done like nine seasons now. I don't even know how many they've have done. Have they found any ghosts? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> they have all this great technology now that's improved. Do you improved. think that he believes in ghosts? Here's the best part. Okay. He is all in, right? All Which in. I love anybody that's all in whatever well, they're doing. You kind of have to be if okay. you're the host he's of all Ghost in, Adventure. But also now he's super self-aware. That of their popularity and of his character caricature of himself uh -huh. so he does it now on purpose he took off his shirt one episode mm -hmm. and he goes you want to fucking fight me ghost let's fucking go dude toe up throw a fucking punch you're like <laughs> he's aware of his character that is this broy ghost fist fighter this dude is brandon schaub on yeah that? schaub <laughs> schaub's on an episode look at him <laughs> He looks like he just got back from a Shane ago. Carwin sparring yeah, session. He's still like, what? It. Yeah, he's still in the fight. He's still out of it. Is so Zach, this is that Zach, Zach is, with the beard? No, that's no, Zach's Zach is that, that dude right there. Right. So Zach wears um, Ed Hardy type of shirts. Right. He wears these loud, <laughs> ridiculously battered shirts. Right. But he's you got to see it. Do a more newer episode. Do something from like 2019, 18. You'll see what he looks like now. He's gotten way more fucking jacked. He's, <laughs> his hair, his hair is all flaked up. You know, he's got like more tanner on and shit. <laughs> he's become do you think he, that he's he become believes, super self-aware do you think that he believes in ghosts no I think he's just self-aware of the product he's created really that he understands that now a ch that's a challenge I see the next whiskey ginger podcast you <laughs> me and Zach Zach, Zach so that's Baggins. him right there right like now he's like Hollywood he looks like a <laughs> Hollywood guy like he's got these big black frame glasses isn't that funny like you can't he can't look any better. You're not, you're not allowing him to have better style. You're like, <laughs> no. you went Hollywood. <laughs> I this can't. guy. You're I so can't. Chicago. It's fucking good. Look at this fucking Hollywood. Hollywood. Look at Fuck. him with his spiky hair. He went Hollywood the fuck. I'll tell you, that's the one thing I know I won't do is... Uh, like I'll, nev I'll, I'll never get to a place when I'll be wearing clothes where I used to make fun of them like that. Like, I remember going, this guy's wearing a fucking $900 t-shirt. I know now I can't do that. Like, I, I can't. I can't get I can't do that now because I used to shit on it so much. Yeah, you have to mind by the rules of your own mind. Well, if I if I pushed it out there for so long, <laughs> what's that? He's got a nice hat. That's him. Yeah, he looks good. You don't right? like his hat, Jamie? Is that your what buddy? Are you trying to say? The most recent photo I could find. Jamie, oh, okay. that's your, do I zoom in real quick? I thought you were trying to say something. Is it handsome J fella? Cute guy. Jamie, I want you to grow your facial hair just do like you, that. Do you really think <laughs> do you really think he doesn't believe in ghosts? I think he does not believe in ghosts. I think he I think he loves the paranormal. Right? He loves the idea of what the paranormal. What does that mean? I think he loves the idea of forces at nature happening, uh, molecules, energies around us, all influencing the way we act. Sure. Mm. I, I don't think he believes in actual apparitions or... What do they, they call them? Uh, uh, spirits on his EVP. We felt the spirit. They'll do this thing where they'll see a little orb or a light. This happens all the time with cameras when you switch to night vision and not... These little flecks of dust kind of reflect light off the lenses. And he'll go, that's an orb. And they'll, you know, watch it float through the lens. And he's he is obsessed about these orbs. They enter the orb. And he does this voiceover shit. You gotta watch the fucking show. I get high and I watch it. It's maybe one of my favorite things. What, what's the, Jamie, you're a photographer. What's the um, scientific explanation for those little balls that show up in photographs? What is it? I'm, I don't have the knowledge for that, but I, it, it could be explained in lots of different ways. It's mostly probably like a light flare of some kind just because there's just like or in this ghosts well, <laughs> now i'm a believer you stammered through that so bad yeah, yeah, dude a you believer. did a terrible <laughs> fucking job i don't know the photography that. science but like in this lens here there's like five different pieces of glass so there's just at whatever angle you're holding it depending on where the light source is coming from right. it might create an artifact which would be a little right. circle it, so if, you, if you're dealing with a really nice 
uh, camera like that one. Yep. But what about like with one of them bullshit, <laughs> one of those zip and, <laughs> and shoot ones? <laughs> then they're using you know, the noise. That's like less. Uh, there's why there would be something on that is probably because it's less. It's less good. It's it it's has less. less uh, not the right word, but uh, less technology in there. I don't know. I don't. I can't explain it, honestly. Well, I'm what, trying to, but I can't. We should <laughs> Google it because orb lovers right now are freaking out. My God, they are angels. <laughs> They're in front of you, and you refuse to see their gift. Anytime an orb passes near a human, he'll go watch Joe's reaction as the orb goes behind his head. <sighs> Yeah, and you change I your feel eyes. It. Yeah, I your felt eyes will it. change. It was amazing. You don't believe in fucking ghosts, do you? Bro, I believe in everything. You don't believe in ghosts. I'm all in with everything now. Fuck that. Bigfoot. Backscatter. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck up. What's that? Here you go. Backscatter. Okay. Backscatter. The artifact can result from the backscatter or retro reflection of light from airborne solid particles such as dust or par- what pollen I said. or liquid droplets, especially rain or mist, can also be caused by foreign material within the camera's lens. So these dots are blurred images of dust particles. M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong should make a movie. <laughs> yeah. uh, and in that movie. About, and it should be called Backscatter. I, I should not call him that anymore. That's really rude. Is it, it though? It's kind of funny. I'm not, it's, it's Shyamalan. That's his fucking name. Shyamalama. I'm, I'm tur- I'll turn on you. Turn on <laughs> yeah, you, you started to, it. You yeah, fucking like, put it on me. Bro, what are you, racist? <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? He makes some good goddamn movies. The guy, he takes some crazy risks, but uh, I love The Sixth Sense. That was a great fucking Come on, movie. Every, I love The Village. People didn't like that. I didn't I, see, uh, I, I, I thought The Village, the end of it, I was like, where? what about planes? Like, they, what? They they Come don't sh- they don't show the any planes going you know over. How big it would have to be yeah. to avoid all the planes. Well, they'd have to be in a super remote a place. Plane. Think how about fucking it. There's got to be places where no but planes fly. But they're not fly. remote because they made it out to the road, and then instantly they got to the road, and people are like, "Hey, get hey. in the car!" Like, what? Yeah, a car? What, what is this? Yeah. I live in the 1800s. <laughs> they're like St. Louis. Yeah. It's like right there. You know what I like though? It's ghost. No devil. The one was in the elevator. Yeah, de- yeah, yeah, yeah. Devil. That was a good one. Yeah, it was good. That was good. It's good. Well, he takes chances. He takes That's a what shot. I like. 